Brendan, I'm sure that was another useful 90 minutes. Your thoughts on the performance? Yeah, it wasn't a great start. We uh, obviously were really happy for James and, and the overall performance of the, uh, of the team for him. At the first half, we, we weren't very good, if I'm honest. I didn't think we started well. Um, very passive, gave the ball away. Um, and obviously we get some guys playing the, the first minutes of, of pre-season. So it was a little bit... A uh, bit broken, but uh, I thought the second half team were excellent. Uh, positioning was really good, kept the ball well, uh, got into some really dangerous areas, uh, showed good energy, attitude in the game was really, really good, and uh, and scored two excellent goals in the second half. So, uh, so overall, I was really pleased. It's uh, you know it was a really good game to finish against a really good side. You can see that, and. Uh, and a lovely turnout for, for James in terms of the supporters. So, uh, so yeah, so we will be better. We can be better, but uh, but uh, a good end to our pre-season. And I wanted to ask you about the, the boys who are making their first appearance here at Celtic Park. Huge crowd, it's a huge expectation on everyone who wears the hoops um, here in Glasgow. How do you feel they coped with that first challenge? Yeah, I think some better than others. I think that's the nature of it. You come to a huge club. Um, we all know how heavy the jersey is when uh, when you're playing with the demands of being a Celtic player, but uh, but that's what you have to cope with. So, um, so no, I thought uh, my first half was excellent. Um, Oden was very good, very good second half with the ball along with Matarelli in, in midfield. Um, so so those two were really good. I thought Yang excellent on the uh, on the outside, worked hard, penetrated. Um, but also good to see the likes of Tony Ralston coming back. I thought he uh, played really well the second half. He's been out for a long time as well. So, um, but no, I think the new guys uh, settled in well. So um, they get a sense of what it's like to play here, and uh, and obviously that uh, expectation only grows. You mentioned Anthony Ralston. It is great to see him back. And Cameron Carter Vickers, mm. of course, starting for the first time in, in several weeks. Mm. It's all in preparation for a league season that starts on Saturday. How, how well prepared do you feel you are now going into that one? Yeah, I, I feel uh, we, you know a couple more days to go, and uh, obviously it, it matters on on Saturday. But we'll be we're ready for that now. We've the players have worked really really hard. We've worked them very very hard. They've uh, lots of minutes in their legs, and um, yeah, coming off the back of a like a game on um, on Saturday as well into another good good intense game, it will only help the uh, the preparation. So really pleased. We'll, we'll finalise some tactical details over the next few days, but uh, but overall, really happy and, uh, and we'll be ready for the weekend. And it will be one final big occasion for James Forrest. He'll get to unfurl the league flag here. How excited are you about the challenge ahead and, and this season and all that it promises? Yeah, I think Saturday brings an end to the, the celebration of winning the treble and obviously, of course, winning the league, which is which is the bread and butter. As soon as that flag is up there, we're now looking to not just defend it, but we want to win it again, and uh, that all starts from Saturday.